he can call me names all week. To say that you incited a riot is an accuser of a criminal act. That we're not going to take, especially since in Crown Heights, I mean, you were around Geraldo. I was called into Crown Heights after the riots okay, were going what, he, what Russ said is that you had a leading role in the 1991 Crown Heights Riots. riots, which is a criminal act, right? And, and that is untrue. Th that's where hundreds of uh, people uh, were Jews rioting were in the streets. Uh, uh, people were killed. I came after the deaths and and preached the funeral at the invitation of the victims. So you were not. At, I remember and, you were and, not and, at and, the 1991. And, and the accused me of the riots at Freddie's. And then in 1995, the Freddie's Fashion Mart. Riot, and there was uh, no riot. But the, there was a, a shooter went in there and killed seven, uh, seven six people. Seven and himself who right. said he didn't agree with the nonviolent protest. That had but been you going had on been something. picketing some yeah, of these stores. That, that's like somebody accusing someone that, uh, that supports a strike and, and, and somebody later comes and does something to their striking and you accuse the union leader of being responsible for that. There was no riot at Freddy's. This was a lone gunman who killed himself. So you really going to try and sue Rush? Lewis? Well, see, you, you must remember uh, the the chairman of the Republican Party once made an allegation against us, and I went and sued him, and he apologized. We didn't want money. We just wanted to clear it up, which is why there's a record why he should have known better, because Mr. Nicholson once had to clarify statements, no, I'm not accusing Reverend Sharpton of violence or crime. So you think it is impossible for Rush Limbaugh, because of his, his racial provocateur kind of statements, pro pro provocative statements, to be an owner in the act? No, not at all. I, I supported the players. My letter was very specific. Didn't even mention race, in fact. My letter to the NFL said the players are right to object to someone that has depicted them as Crips and Bloods. Seems like he always has this criminalizing uh, the players, now he's going to criminalize me. They have a right to say that they are fronted uh, by that and that I want to discuss that with them because it's disturbing. That's what my letter said. You can't tell people that they don't have the right to say that I work in this area, I generate money, and I have a problem with this guy coming in. He's the one that went on the Today Show, uh, Raldo, and announced to the world, this is the mainstreaming of Rush Lumbar. This is, I am the symbol of American conservatism. He did that. So now that you've offered this, that, that you're making an investment, you've wrapped yourself in this cloak that you're representing all of American conservatism, and now he's saying, why are y'all questioning me? I wonder what the Gov has to say about that, Governor Huckabee, on whether or not Rush Limbaugh should be allowed to have an NFL franchise. And then Doug Kennedy has a piece on other bad boys in the NFL and other sports. We'll be right back. And then the final note on that, uh, on the balloon boy. From a group of investors who were trying to buy the St. Louis Rams, speculation was that Limbaugh was considered by the league to be too controversial. You know, unlike Michael Vick, Pac-Man Jones, Coach Tom Cable. <laughs> Blacks ago birth. The NFL hates controversy. They hate it. <laughs> He's got that right. As Jay Leno says, this league has had much more than its share of controversial owners and players. Here's our Doug Kennedy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I would have been uh, preferred to be noted as a part owner of an NFL team. Oh. Rush Limbaugh's preference to be a part owner of the St. Louis Rams certainly stirred some controversy this week. This is a member of the Board of Aldermen in St. Louis. I think what uh, we've seen is that the Rush Limbaugh involvement has been a distraction. And here's a Democratic Congresswoman on the floor of the House. I know that he is not the kind of owner that the NFL needs. But Sheila Jackson Lee's opinion aside, Limbaugh may have in fact fit right in in the NFL which has a long history of bad boy rich guy owners, including former Rams owner Carol Rosenblum, whose ties with the mob led to his alleged murder in 1979. And then there's widowed Rams owner Georgia Frontieri, who ended up divorcing her seventh husband after he was caught scalping thousands of tickets before Super Bowl XIV. Former New England owner Victor Kayam got in trouble for joking about a reporter who accused the Patriots of sexual harassment. And like Limbaugh, current Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Ursay has spent some time in rehab for an addiction to painkillers. And then there's Raiders owner Al Davis, who has sued and been sued by fellow owners multiple times in connection with where his team is supposed to be based. Nonetheless, Russia's rejection now has Limbaugh predicting the downfall of the NFL. What is happening to the National Football League 
Uh, what is about to happen to it has already happened to Wall Street, has already happened to the automobile business. Oh, I don't know about any of that, but, uh, you know, you have uh, two-thirds of the players are black. In the NBA, 82% of the players are black. And there's only one, uh, Robert Johnson's the only black owner, and he's trying to sell the Charlotte Bobcats. Uh, but is he right? I mean, we haven't done character checks on previous owners, have we? There, yeah, they, the NFL has said uh, we, we don't want that that guy. I, I mean, I, I wonder if he would, if he had that, you know, five, six hundred million dollars himself, whether they would have, you know, if you're a minority owner, uh, it's a little different. So you're saying that you think it's it's just they figured more trouble than it was worth because he's only coming in with chump change. It, it five, wasn't the million? NFL that rejected him. Right. It was the guy that brought him into the deal that said you're you're complicating this uh, and 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 you know I don't, I don't want any complications. I'll get another guy with 150 million dollars. Well, how I, I hesitate to ask. I know you don't often like to give your personal opinion, but should Rush Limbaugh be a part owner of the NFL? You know, as an American, I, I, I'm a little uncomfortable with um, not allowing somebody to, to be able to buy into the NFL. You know, would they reject Al Sharpton? Would they? Would, would, they, reject, uh, would they reject you, Al? They, I, I don't they have the right to raise the opinion, and that's all we did. Yeah, but I, but I, again, I, the NFL I personally, didn't rule this, yeah. Doug. His partners ruled it. Yeah, but I, I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like people being rejected just on their opinion. The racist stuff uh, I'm is I'm still curious about issue. what the governor thinks. I think Al Sharpton and I want to buy a team together. <laughs> franchise or at least the minority uh, ownership in it uh, that I, I, I expected. But I wonder what Governor Mike Huckabee believes about this whole flap. Is it so? And here's the way I want to couch okay. it. Remember, I didn't say he should or should not be an NFL owner. I merely said that he's a racial provocateur who knows when he pushes buttons exactly what he is doing. Don't you agree that uh, it is Unsurprising that the players or the players' union or uh, African American officials like uh, Reverend Sharpton or Jesse Jackson might respond negatively to Limbaugh's attempted entrance into this business. But Geraldo, most of the things that were used to, to really discredit him as a potential owner were things that he never said. Things about James Earl Ray, things about slavery. James Earl Ray, who assassinated Martin Luther. King. Exactly, and he didn't even say those things. There was there was no evidence whatsoever. Well, we didn't they were mention completely that. Completely no, but that, did we? I understand. That. But there was still, that was sort of the, the reason that this thing developed into a mushroom cloud. Here's what I think we got to remember. You took a lot of things that, yes, came out of Rush Limbaugh's mouth, but Rush Limbaugh and there were on many the air. More. He's on the air 15 hours a week and has been for 20 years. It's easy to get a, a good string of You don't of think pearls. he's a racial provocateur? I don't think he's a racist. And I oh, don't I think, didn't say he was a racist. No, no, you didn't. But, it, but the connotation is that he's just trying to He knows who people. he's digging. He knows exactly. But even if he does, and even if he is, that shouldn't disqualify him from being a part of the NFL or any... I mean, if, I'll tell you what we ought to do. Let's go through everybody who has any ownership stake in well, any NFL team. And you know what? There's only that. one entity that can end up owning the NFL, and that'll be the federal government, and they've taken over everything again. else. And <laughs> here we go. Go I, ahead and I give it to them. I agree that we should go through every one of them if they get on the Today Show <laughs> and say <laughs> that I am now mainstreaming America. He set himself up for the scrutiny. He went on the top morning show in America, waved the flag, and his partners, the NFL didn't disqualify him. Al Sharpton didn't disqualify him. His partners said, why Check, isn't he Dave Check, it's the guy who owns the hockey Why okay. isn't he yeah. attacking All right, now, <laughs> full stop, because I want to button up. Uh, did we get the video team from Fort Collins, Colorado? Not in yet, so sorry, you'll have to see it in later Fox News broadcasts. Uh, uh, but Judge Larry Seidlin, uh, who, you know, famously presided in uh, Broward County, Florida. You have watched the, uh, the Flying Saucer Boy saga uh, unravel. What do you believe the parents' exposure is if, as the sheriff now suggests, they are fakes? Well, I want to compliment you, Geraldo. You predicted that this was a hoax. You were the first personality to predict it on Fox and Friends. The state of Colorado is going to come down heavy on this family. The father's going to face the Department of, of Colorado's children and family. They may take away his children. He needs counseling, this father. And secondly, he's going to face criminal charges. False reports to the police department is a misdemeanor. And the FAA is going to be involved, the federal government. This guy's facing heavy-duty sanctions. And um, 
He's put his children at risk and unfortunately sent the wrong message to America because we all felt for his son. We thought that little boy was in the balloon. He wasn't and, now, in the balloon. and now in the future, how do, how do we react when there is a crisis? Well, let's, send the, let's send dad up in the balloon, maybe, and where he goes, nobody knows. That's it for us. Until next time, thanks for watching.